Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be talking about ARK. If you are, this is a tutorial for brand new players. That means you guys are brand new. 100% welcome to the game. So basically what we're going to talk about in this tutorial is the basics. Going through step by step. Talking about all the different things that I can think of that you would need to know to start your adventure. So first thing first we are going to start out on the home screen. There are two different options here that you really need to worry about. You've got credits options. If you haven't yet, go in and check your graphic settings, all that kind of stuff. You can check your controls. Make sure everything's ready for you, that you have it properly on there. The only thing I would suggest is you turn off motion blur, so you don't want that on. Uh, it helps with the ability to see the game, so make sure you turn that off, and we'll go ahead and apply that and hit save, and then you can go ahead and jump into the next part. So there are two different things. If you are looking to play online, my wife, if you're a new player, I highly suggest you don't do it. You can see non-dedicated settings, which means it's people who play by themselves on their computer. Unofficial means someone's hosting it via a server, and then official servers and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, that's that join one but let's go ahead and jump into host if you're brand new i highly suggest that you start with a single player game so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna load into my island in here and you hit play single player um, these other options are run dedicated which means you can uh, run a server on your thing which means you can't play on that computer or you can host a non-dedicated and that's how you play with your friends but as i said i'm gonna go ahead and hit play single player so you're gonna go through a loading screen just like this and then uh we'll see you back here in a moment once the game is fully loaded and we are in the loading screen. Welcome back guys. So uh, basically uh, I'm going to know that we are in a different place and I could hit create new survivor um, but we're not going to. Basically what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you some things in here but then I'm going to respawn the existing survivor. So basically guys you guys can create your character here. You can make a male female. You can randomize them all you want by just clicking buttons. You can change all your stuff in here and then you get an option for spawn zones on here. But to better show you the spawn zones, I'm going to go ahead and hit respawn existing survivor. Um, that is the survivor I just had. So this survivor we are going to be talking about, you can respawn in different locations on here. Uh, the easier are down south here. You get less hard dinosaurs and things that are going to kill you really fast. Up here in the north, it gets more difficult. So as you go up the map, it gets more and more difficult. Even when you swing around the sides, it gets more and more difficult. So um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in a separate location and kind of give you guys a quick rundown on things that you can do. So let's go ahead and hit spawn random zone one. And we're going to spawn into the game and hopefully not die. So you're going to wake up, you're going to scratch your little implant right there and be like, oh, it's so painful. So here we are. You have now spawned. You are on the world, and um, this character is max level. Uh, I do not have a level up, so what I'm going to do is show you guys some of the basics to get yourself moving. First things first is you're going to want to walk up here and start punching things. Uh, these are trees. You can get wood and thatch from those while you're punching. Uh, you need to get a couple wood and thatch to craft your first item, which is going to be a hand axe of sorts. Now you are going to take a little bit of damage, so hopefully you don't take too much. Uh, and then you're going to want to run over here and grab a couple stones. They look like that. You can see them right there on the ground. And if you guys are hungry, you can run over here and grab some plants. I think I have a copy near me. Uh, but just keep your eyes open. You can watch up here. You can see you can hit E on those plants or on any other game. You can hit um, your basic use button. And you can walk up here and just grab some basic berries. Uh, once you have these berries, you can see, uh, I apologize. Let me just go ahead and drop all this stuff so you guys don't see this because it's going to confuse you. I apologize. Let me get rid of all of that mess. Um, those are skins. Uh, you'll get those as you play the game more. So when you're in your inventory, um, let's go ahead and go back into that. You're going to see you have different options. You've got different types of berries. Uh, two berries you want to avoid are stem berries and narco berries. Narco berries, when you eat them, uh, they're going to make you gain tapor, which will put you to sleep. You can see torpidity down here. Uh, the higher that is, the longer you fall asleep, you just pass out on the ground, the bad things happen to you. Uh, and then your other option is um, stem berries. Stem berries give you extra stamina, uh, but at a cost of water. Uh, so if you watch, I'll eat that, and you can see my water just plummets down. And again, if I eat those narco berries, you can see that goes up, and I eat a bunch. And you can see you kind of get purple around your edge of your screen. So make sure you guys don't eat those berries. Just go ahead and drop them out. You can eat any type of seed, it doesn't matter. You can eat these berries, they'll give you food. You can see my food is going up right there and everything looks great. And then you can walk over here and eat, drink some water. And you can hear yourself chug, 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 and you feel great. Now, in order to craft an item, uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit tab. And your first item you're gonna see is just gonna be one basic little primitive thing. And it's gonna be your primitive uh, pickaxe is gonna be the first thing you get. So you should need 10 thatch, one wood, and one stone. 
you just double click on it or on Xbox, I believe you hit A if I remember correctly, PS4, I believe that is X that you place. And then it crafts and then uh, it's gonna be in your inventory, uh, not like it dropped into mine. Uh, you're gonna see it in there and all you have to do is drag it down to your toolbar. Once you have your toolbar, you hit the number, what it is, or on Xbox and stuff, you can cycle through them. And then you can walk up to a different tree. Now, uh, the pickaxes are going to give you from trees more thatch than stone, as you guys can see. I'm getting tons of thatch and, uh, not stone, but no wood. And then if I walk over here uh, and to find a rock, so I wanna find a larger rock because I wanna get flint, because from rocks, these will get you more flint and not stone. So if I walk over here, I can knock that, and you see I get all that flint instead of stone. Um, those are the four, four of the main resources you're gonna use early on the game. There is metal and crystal and all that kind of stuff, but that is a more advanced thing that you will get. Um, but as I said, the same thing, pickaxes always work better for those. So for metal, on metal rocks, you wanna pickaxe those. Uh, for crystals, you wanna pickaxe those also. Same thing uh, for obsidian. So we have now officially gotten enough stuff to craft our next item but if you see you do not have it in here so what you will have to do is you technically have to level up uh, in these options I'm only gonna level up once I'm gonna give myself some health really quick and then I'm gonna jump into my engram points um, this is your second tab right here you can see that this is how you go up the skill trees as you learn and advance uh, the next thing you really want to get is this stone hatchet um, this stone hatchet is going to allow you to do a couple things but i'm going to go ahead and give myself a couple extra levels reason being is i want to show you guys some of the basics with a couple things and i'm just going to go ahead and click them in here these are cloth pants this is thatch foundation this is your basic building stuff um, we're going to grab all that stuff just so we can run through there and then we will grab ourselves a campfire just to kind of get ourselves in a good spot. So now that we've got those things going, we can go ahead and get a couple things started. But I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second. I do have cheats enabled, so I'm going to quickly make it to daytime. So cheats at time of day zero eight cold zero, zero cold zero, zero. enter. So now it is daytime, so you guys can see what I'm doing, and I don't want that to go any crazy on there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and craft our hatchet. Again, you're gonna go into your inventory, click on crafting, you'll see your little hatch right there. You can double click on it and it'll craft for you. Um, that's just an Avi Raptor. Uh, they look like raptors, but they are not. That was that guy right there. That's an Avi Raptor, it looks like. He'll just run away from you, he's scared of you. Don't worry about him too much. So now we've got our hatchet. Our hatchet is great for getting stone and wood. So you can see I get a lot more wood instead of this on my pickaxe, which gives me a ton more thatch. And then, as I said, also over here, when we run over to these rocks, these are bigger rocks. Um, you can use your hatchet to get stone specifically, or you can use your pickaxe to get more flint. Uh, a little side note, this is just as a note for you. If you see these rounded rocks, these really nice pretty rocks right by the uh, water, you can actually mine them a lot and you get metal out of them. They actually have a good metal drop rate on them, just as a little fun fact for you guys. So um, those are our two main things that we're gonna be working on. Now, another item that is very important is gonna be fiber. You can see it building up on the left. I have 12 fiber, 15 fiber. That is gonna be a basic material you're gonna need early on in the game. This is going to allow you to craft specific items. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit tab. We're gonna go back into crafting. We're gonna go up a window, up a window, and just keep going up until you see structures. Now we can do thatch, and you can see we can craft all this thatch stuff that's right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft a couple things really quick. Um, you just double click on them. I need some more thatch, as you can see, and it tells you on your little tooltips when you do that uh, what you still need to craft certain items. So I'm just gonna mine this tree real fast, get a bunch of thatch for myself so I'm up and running. There we go. So you can see you've got all this stuff and it tells you right there on the right, it says crafting requirements, it tells you what you need. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a door frame, door, wall, and a ceiling, and I'm gonna show you guys the basics here really fast of what you can do on that stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put down our foundation. So what you wanna do is you always have to start with foundations very specifically, uh, or you have to do all kinds of pillars and stuff, but we're not gonna get into the advanced stuff. You can place your little foundation down. You just select the number that you've placed it in, click it, click it, and there you go. You've got a beautiful thatch floor now. It looks great, and then you can snap to the side of it, just like this, you can see you can snap it any way. To know which way it's facing, you can see on the outside for thatch, it shows you it's dark on the outside, on the inside it shows you just the rafting, so then you just place it where you want to, you click it, and bam, that baby's up and running. So we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch door and door frame down. You need a door frame to place a door. Um, you place the door frame down, and you can see you've got a gap now. 
and then you can go ahead and place a door. Um, that's a carbon nanoy, so you don't need to worry about it. He won't kill you. He's your friend. Uh, he's not a friend. If you punch him, he will get upset. So most dinosaurs, if you punch them, they'll attack you. Uh, anything with sharp teeth is normally going to be the stuff that attacks you. And last but not least, you can put your little ceiling up on this little guy right here. And there you go. So you have a basic start. So you can make this as big as you want. You can attach extra foundations in there um, to however you want to. I just want to be able to make this thatch foundation really quick. Probably need to get some more fiber. Um, you just go up to these little plants, any type of foliage as it looks like. There you go. We have got our little thatch foundation built. Um, if you've already placed it in your inventory, as you just saw, you can select it and it'll auto build it for you. And then what it does is you can see it just snaps right to there, however you want to, wherever you want to snap it. And then you can just keep building your thing. Uh, smaller is better initially uh, because you're going to upgrade it right away and it's going to help you. So you guys can see some of those dinosaurs over there that aren't really going to hurt you. Um, you do need to worry about those little pelicans. They can be a little nasty. But one of the main resources you're also going to need to gather early on is hide. Uh, unfortunately, hide is difficult to get because you have to kill a dinosaur to get it. So what I'm looking for is that right there. That is a dodo. It's going to be one of your greatest resources. Uh, one of the things you're going to want to get is a spear. Um, I just learned that in there. We're going to go ahead and craft our little spear here. And we need wood fiber. So we need more wood and fiber. You guys can see how I checked my tool tips on there. If you didn't see that, let me go ahead and go back in there just so you guys can see it. You can see it says crafting requirements. When it's green, you have enough. When it's red, you do not. So we're gonna go up here, grab some fiber from one of these plants, and I need some wood also. So we're gonna grab our hatchet to get more wood than thatch. We'll snack that tree around a little bit. We got 20 wood, that's more than enough. And then we're gonna craft ourselves a couple of spears uh two of them should be more than enough to do uh work to the dodos dodos do not hurt you um they will just run away and be scared so that's all they're going to do and you can see you have two options with these spears um, i'm actually going to grab a little bit more fiber because i'm probably going to waste two here um, your options you have are you can sit there and stab it with left click or x or then you can uh left trigger would be the or right trigger would be the one to do it on and then if you hold down right trigger you can throw it so you see how it pulls it up like this you can throw it so now what i can do is i can take my crosshairs this dodo is really high level of course and you can throw it right in its head and it stabs it and the nice thing about spears is you can walk back up and pick them back up as long as they don't break now you have killed this dodo excellent good things are happening you have two different weapons in which you can use to get your dodo and beat it up for parts now the first one is going to be the pickaxe if you use the pickaxe you'll get raw more raw meat than hide but we want hide specifically so we will use the hatchet hatchet gives you more hide if you think about like you're skinning it to get hide that'd be the best way to think of it so we're going to go ahead and hatch it up you can see we're getting a bunch of hide uh what we're now going to do is craft our first piece of armor so we're going to go ahead and grab that, grab cloth, and you can see we need fiber on this one specifically. Uh, some of the pieces for the basic actually require hide. That's why I wanted to show you guys how to get hide. So we're going to sit here, collect some quick fiber, run around, get these little plants. Um, this grass is the normal grass, but you can see like these like fern-looking items are the ones that you want to go for. Um, all the little taller plants that you can kind of see sticking out are your best option for trying to get all those berries and as of course if you need some food you can see I'm down to five food um, if you look on the bottom right it will show you all that stuff if I hold H uh, the computer you can see what it tells you uh, you can tell your weight is the little anvil to the right and you've got your water droplet for water food is a looks like a beef steak almost or like a, a chicken wing and then you've got your stamina and your health and then it tells you your time if you hold this what day it is all that kind of fun stuff if you're in a tribe or not so we are low on health, so we are going to go ahead and eat this stuff. We can eat some of these berries. Remember, no narco berries, no stem berries. We don't want to eat those. And we do not want to eat raw meat also. So you can just go ahead and chew these up real quick, and you're in good shape. And we'll eat the seeds too, but don't eat raw meat. Uh, you will lose health in risk for it. So if you have to, I guess you can technically eat raw meat, but I highly suggest you avoid that. So uh, we should have enough thatch now to, or not thatch, f uh, fiber to craft our pants. We're just going to double click on those, then go ahead and craft our pants. They're going to go our inventory, and then you can just place them right into here. Place them into your legs, and then you can put as many pieces on. you got hands, heads, torso, offhand, feet. Normally you cannot dual wield items, if that's your question. Uh, weapons, you can hold a shield and a one-handed item in your hand, though, just so you know. So that is the other option, but your offhand is normally just a shield or something of that nature. So when you need to use it, you can use it. 
So that is the basics of the game overall. However, I do want to talk to you guys about one more thing. Um, one is that as a Dilophosaurus, you want to avoid that. Those things will kill you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and head up here. But I want to show you guys how to tame a dinosaur. So one of the simplest things is you need to first get a slingshot. Uh, slingshot is one of the greatest things you can get for doing this specifically. And what I need to do is craft it. So we're going to go back, back up. Weapons, primitive, ranged slingshot we need to make a slingshot slingshots use rock or stone specifically to use so what we're going to do is we're going to place our slingshot in there uh, slingshots are not the best way to tame things you can use trank arrows um, those are crafted by getting narcotics which are crafted by getting narco berries and uh, spoiled meat so uh, but all that stuff is going to be showed to you and it's going to tell you where you get it so for example narcotics it says it must be crafted if you see at the bottom right at the mortar and pestle and the mortar pestles here so you craft it through there you have to put that down in order to do it to cook meat all you need is a campfire you throw it down you put some wood in there and it cooks uh, you can use thatch and stuff too but let's go ahead and get a couple more stone before we go off and tame our first dinosaur so what we're going to do is go to hatch this up get a bunch of stone for it um, it's not a guarantee now remember you have to watch your weight on this stuff but we should have a good amount of stone I want to get about 40 stone so we can figure out what we're gonna do we're gonna tame that Dilophosaurus first is what the first thing is now there are two options you have if we tame this Dilophosaurus he is a meat eater so you need to give him meat in order to make him your friend uh, versus a another dinosaur that's a veggie eater you need to give them specifically berries in the most cases however in there are many other ways you guys can go through it through kibble and stuff but that is a way advanced way so what we're gonna do is you make sure you have a drop in there we're gonna shoot him and we're going to attempt to hit him in the face, but I did not do well. I have not used one. So you can know when you hit him. Uh, one of the things about Dilophosaurus, guys, is they are going to attempt to spit stuff at you. Um, when they do that, you want to spin right and left like this, right and left, so he doesn't hit you because otherwise you'll be blinded in your screen. And he will hit you probably eventually. And he's knocked out. So when he falls over like that, you know he's knocked out. It says he's unconscious and everything like that. And all you have to do then is look up at him, access his inventory, and put some meat in there. And he should be up and going now he will not eat it ready because he is not hungry um, but one of the biggest things you have to understand is when he eats this meat his taming level is going to go up but the problem that we might run into which i can almost guarantee we're going to is we do not have enough meat in there and if i eat, he eats all that meat and isn't tamed his taming level will go down uh, the more efficiently we tame him the higher his level is when he stands back up because when he stands up he gets a couple more levels. So what we're going to do is we are going to try to attempt to, that's a 7, oh, it's a 12. I feel like it's got one shot. Maybe. We'll see if we can get lucky. Nope, we did not get it. So um, what we're going to do is try to find something else to kill. Uh, hopefully get a couple meat here and get that. Uh, we could hack up technically our Dilophosaurus and eat that. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what he's doing. He probably ate his first piece. Yeah, so we're going to need four pieces of meat. You can see he's going to need another piece of meat. I doubt I can find one fast enough for this to happen, but we'll see what happens here. Um, if you're having problems catching things, like specifically I am right now, um, you do have an option that you can try to grab a bulla. A uh, bulla is a great option for this, but I do see a dodo here, so this should help me out a lot. Um, you can also get this guy too, so we can just go ahead and hack him up and do it. And you can see that's another one uh, that you can do things to. We can also kill the dodo. He'll probably be easier to kill. And we just need to get a couple meat off of him, and he'll help us. So we can just hatchet him up. Remember, use your pickaxe here. And there it is. Um, that's a parasaur. You can see it's not a dangerous and all that kind of fun stuff. Most of the, the dangerous ones, you'll know when they are uh, and so forth. So you can see I'm out of stamina, so I can stop running. Um, you can gain stamina slowly by just walking versus running uh, or you can also stop and get it faster as you can see that it's lightning bar goes up real fast and then I can run and hopefully get back to my Dilophosaurus before he tries to eat again and his taming level drops really fast and we can find out here real fast see you can see it says put foot put food in inventory to tame we'll put our food in and he will hopefully eat there he goes he is eating his thing his taming efficiency is dropping because of the bad food that we have and then he will go ahead and tame here in a moment hopefully it'll take just a couple seconds more um, we can see what his food's at. He needs another f uh, couple pieces, and then he will eat his next piece of food and eat his meat. I believe it's 50, if I remember off the top of my head. I'm about 90% sure that when he hits 490, he'll eat his another piece of meat. You'll see his head lift up, and he'll eat it. There it is, and you can see he ate that piece. 
and it puts them at 97 um, when it comes to berries and stuff it's 30 but I have a bunch of taming basics videos and stuff so make sure you guys check those out also if you have questions about taming but once he tames he's gonna stand up it's gonna offer you tame give him his name and then you can have him follow you and he'll help you fight and all that kind of fun stuff and you can use whistle commands to stop him and go uh, whistle commands specifically are uh, if you hold this you can see follow stop attack my target all that kind of stuff and it helps you can also do emotes like this you can do like you know a nice little a light thing and you lighten up but um you can see there he is you can name him whatever you want so we'll name him new guy he might even be a girl i uh, don't know uh he is a male so we got lucky there um you can see it says gender it tells you all that kind of fun stuff it gives you his level and then if you want to you want to access his inventory you can hit f go in there as he levels up you can give him more damage and all that kind of fun stuff and now you have a friend that will follow you and now we can go fight stuff together so that is the basics, guys. I hope it gives you a good rundown of how to play the game, how to build, how to tame dinosaurs in a quick atmosphere. Uh, and it's not going to be 100% perfect because there's going to be many opportunities where you run into things. Uh, so if you have any more questions about specific things, taming, all that kind of stuff, please check out the rest of the channel. We have all kinds of tutorials out there. Check the basic tutorial playlist. I will link that down below. That will give you guys all the basics that you could have questions about and all that kind of fun stuff. But I hope this video helps you. If so, and you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, as always, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. But leave a comment down below if you guys have any more questions. We will try our best to answer them. But as always, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Leaper's Corner.